platform for excellence in CSR. It become very, very uh, important, and especially after the 2% compulsory um, rule. And IOD is really giving us a platform to exchange views and to learn from each other. The Institute of Directors returns with the 11th International Conference on Corporate Social Responsibility and the presentation of the Golden Peacock Awards. Honours is on us to bring the society together, to bind the society together, to give that progressive outlook. We should make it the difference that CSR with the heart. This weekend on Times Now. Institute of Directors India returned with the 11th International Conference on Corporate Social Responsibility. How do you find With the theme Embedding CSR in Corporate Strategy for Responsible Growth, the conference provided a path breaking platform to interact with Indian heavyweights and CSR professionals from around the world. We have bigger scope to bring in sustainable. Through discussions, case study presentations, and product showcases, strategy and innovation in CSR became the focal point of the conference. Today, Corporate Social Responsibility, this is the 11th conference that IOD is holding. CSR is an enlightened self-interest. There is no longer whether or not, but how. It's a new game changer. This conference provides an excellent platform for rich deliberations, for market-driven solutions to embed CSR into the corporate DNA and make CSR an actionable agenda. Thank you very much. I'm indeed delighted to be with all of you this morning at this conference. The subject, Embedding CSR in Corporate Strategy for Responsible Growth, is absolutely apt. It is the call of the times. Kudos to the IOD team for always choosing thought-provoking issues. With the passing of the Companies Act on Corporate Social Responsibility, the whole scenario has undergone a phenomenal transformation. The mandatory 2% CSR spent has been a shot in the arm. Earlier, the approaches to CSR had been extremely fragmented. There was no linkage to business or strategy. In the recent past, most corporates have CSR principles ingrained into their business principles, both out of compulsion and conviction. Increasingly, organizations realize that CSR is a great opportunity. It's a competitive advantage. The reputational lever, the talent pull, consumer goodwill, and the immense pride that shareholders and investors take in engaging with companies that makes a difference to the lives of the marginalized are among its most obvious outcomes. It is all about channelizing the efforts about thinking beyond themselves. Thank you. It is a proud privilege for me this morning to, hear, to be here, to participate, theme embedding CSR in corporate strategy of responsible growth. As far as the CSR activities are concerned, some industries feel as if this is a burden on them. That feeling should not come. Please understand, after 70 years of independence, still there are important issues which we have not been able to answer fully. Maybe the illiteracy, maybe the health care, maybe the infrastructure. So I think corporate India has to supplement the government efforts. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच जय हिंद जय कर्नाटक investing on knowledge capital investing on institutions of higher learning and in india as it stands today most of the impact which will be felt if government policies are properly framed etc properly implemented and for that we need the benefit of think tanks which can think about these issues discuss and advise government on an interdisciplinary in a interdisciplinary way there are a large number of think tanks thank you very much today's topic of corporate social responsibility this is also quite appropriate when the new companies act has made it mandatory for certain companies with profit to invest 2% of its profit on this important social activity i once again thank the institute of directors uh, for organizing this in bangalore thank you very much it was voluntary uh, and and suddenly after 2013 companies act it has become mandatory the only social virtue of any business should be to profit but what is ironical of where i am standing today and what you are standing today and why this conclave is so relevant is when he goes on to say as a policy that anybody who talks about social practices or social projects in a private sector in your company should be the first one to be fired this is one concept right this is what we tell b school people and then they come out and then suddenly the debate starts is it compliance is it voluntary is it mandatory how do you function in a corporate social responsibility space so look what you do you train people to think on a direction and then the moment they come into job you try to undo all that training this dichotomy has to move out thank you very much and i wish you all the best and wish the conference all the best thank you India is in the right trend today. We have to recognize our market liberalization is one aspect. Today, our policy reorganizations towards renewables is in the right direction, mind you. Our impending challenge to bring in sustainability in terms of economic momentum is a telling story. Leave alone the democratic, democratic dividend, average age, as everyone has mentioned, is. in a populations is less than 25 65% of the populations if you look at it by 2020 is less than 25 our average age becomes 23 and china is 38 and rest of the countries you can interpret in, in econometric terms we have bigger scope to rationalize we have bigger scope to bring in sustainability as long as we recognize our value systems is acceptable measurable manageable and we are cautiously optimistic about it thank you ladies and gentlemen for your kind attention i think iod has a very influential and a very significant role in this overall uh, you know movement that is happening here over the last two years three years since the act has come the legislation has come into play iod has been uh, educating building awareness not only at the corporate management level but also at the board level iod works with the directors and these are the stakeholders and the key decision makers in every organization while they prepare their a csr strategy and when they start working on implementation of any csr this model is unique it can be a case study like uh, social responsibility we have in incorporated in our in our leadership studies in the institutions and there is an organization within the institutions that's run by the students it has a ceo it's a deputy ceo is it has a director of finance it has a council of directors by the students itself we fund them the trust funds it and they undertake different activities across india so that's are the beauty and it's more of a inculcating the value of the responsibility and value of accommodating others which is the basics and prime the the primordial value of human being Post the sessions it was time to present the renowned Golden Peacock Awards 
Golden Peacock Award, instituted by the Institute of Directors India, recognized corporate excellence in CSR as well as in the people area through the HR Excellence Award, along with overall corporate excellence. Let me commend the IOD for these excellent initiatives, which have been instrumental in raising the level of corporate performance in a holistic manner. The engagement of corporate houses towards making a meaningful difference to the lives of the underprivileged is indeed gratifying. It is also very necessary, and many of you must be aware of the sustainable development goals adopted a year ago. The major goals have the potential to work towards putting an end to extreme poverty. That said, I'm so delighted to mention that these Golden Peacock Awards have become aspirational. IOD is indeed privileged to have an excellent jury and robust processes driven mechanisms. Thank you, Srimati Rashri Birla ji. We extend a very warm welcome again to Sri Sri Ravi Shankar ji, the honored chief guest today. IOD has been doing this uh, noble act of honoring, recognizing people who are into CSR and companies who are in CSR for, for quite some time now. This honor that is being done in this platform here is recognizing the wonderful work. And of course, you don't need the award because you're already doing it. But it is the job of uh, a civilized, as I said, civilized society to recognize your wonderful jobs that you do, your great jobs that you do. Humanism is a speciality in this country. Let us not uh, let it go. Let us not oh, leave it, you know, as a part of history. We should continue that humanism the kind-heartedness. Otherwise, CSR activities happening all over the world. We should make it, make the CSR with a difference that CSR with a heart. CSR with a human touch. With these words, I congratulate all the award winners. Thank you. Golden Peacock Awards have created a benchmark for honoring change agents worldwide. The first award to be presented was the Golden Peacock Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, for leadership in social service goes to Dr. Bindeshwar Pathakji. I feel proud and privileged that the Golden Peak Award has given to me as a lifetime achievement award. I am fortunate to receive this award from the hand of a soul who is never, seldom comes on this earth, and Gurudev Ji is one of them. I am a follower of Gandhi. And Gandhi used to say, one ounce of action is more important than tons of knowledge. Gandhi had a wish to restore the human rights and dignity to different tattoos. And this award also refers that. So I have also totally, with non-violence, I have changed the history of India. I have fulfilled the dreams of Mahatma Gandhi. इस बात को स्वच्छ भारत बनाने का जो प्रधानमंत्री का सपना है पूरा करने के प्रयास कीजिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद बहुत ही धन्यवाद The Global Peacock for in the sector financial sector banking goes to Doha Bank Qatar Public Company Limited, Thailand.
the sector on in automobiles the golden peacock award goes to mahindra and mahindra limited from bombay mr sunil singh vice president csr is here gujarat narmada valley fertilizers and chemicals limited baruch in the sector chemicals and fertilizers dr rajiv kumar gupta uh, is the principal is senior civil servant Gujarat Principal Secretary Government of Gujarat and Managing Director is here to receive the award Panasonic India Private Limited Gurgaon in the sector electronics Ms Radhika Kalia Associate Director Corporate Affairs is here to receive the award The next award goes to Canara HSBC OBC Life Insurance Com Company Limited Gurgaon in the sector insurance Next winner is HPCL Mittal Energy Noida in the sector oil refinery. Mr. K K Srivastha, General Manager Projects, is here to receive the award. The next winner is Axo Nobel India Limited Gurgaon in the sector paints. Mr. Raj Kapoor. board member and chairman csr committee is here to receive the award the next winner is ntpc limited new delhi uh, in the sector park doc mr dk sooth executive director csr is here to receive the award in person Idea Cellular Limited Bombay in the sector telecommunications Dr Pragnya Ram group executive president corporate communications and CSR she wins the award on merits and not as an associate of Rajshree Birla ji the next winner is Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone Ahmedabad in the sector transportation ports captain umesh abhyankar joint president is here to receive the award the next winner is il nfs transportation network limited bombay transport in the sector transportation roadways mr k ramchand managing director is here to receive the award now we announce the golden peacock awards for hr excellence the first winner is hero moto corporation limited new delhi in the sector automobiles mr sanjay jorapur chro is here to receive the award next winner is gabriel india limited parvanu in the sector automobiles ancillary Manoj Kolatkar the managing director is himself here with his team The next winner is Accenture Services Private Limited Bangalore next winner is bhel limited new delhi sector engineering the next winner is union bank of india bombay in the financial sector that is banking mr r r mohanty
Next winner is Reliance Infrastructure Limited, New Bombay, in the sector infrastructure. The next is Bharat Aluminium Company Limited, Koba, in the sector mining and metallurgy. Next, Transmission Corporation of Andhra Pradesh, Hyderabad, in the sector par, Mr. K. Vijayanand, CMD, is himself here to receive the award. This is our second year of association with IOD and this is an interesting platform wherein we get to interact with the key stakeholders of this ecosystem. There are various corporates and donors who are giving money to the not-for-profits and social enterprises to actually do good. And we being a technology platform trying to bring in the donors, the corporates and the not-for-profits together, this is an ideal platform for us to have our presence. CSR can really help NGOs grow sustainably because many times NGOs come up with great ideas, but they are not able to scale up. But CSR, especially the mandated CSR in our country, will help NGOs grow sustainably. Sustainable growth is the most important thing to bring any transformative change. We feel so, so very nice that, you know, the group has been recognized for this, this special award. And Gabriel, which is the flagship company, has got this award. Uh, this plant, Parvanu, which, uh, you know, qualified for this award, uh, has a very special thing in the sense 50% of our workforce working on the shop floor are you know women so that uh, that really you know uh, goes a, goes a lot in our uh, you know foray into empowering women iod is a very great platform and it is uh, headed by very distinguished jury so these awards are uh, very transparent and uh, based on merit and uh, <clears throat> uh, they organize things uh, in a very very meticulous way uh, they invite applications, they require you to give all kinds of proof of whatever uh, you have done. So I personally feel that uh, this award is a benchmark of uh, uh, corporate governance.